uh, YouTube, I've got another guitar video, not an unboxing this time, but it is a review. And once again, links will be down below. But if you've got a minute, I've also got a story about this guitar because I haven't got a lot of guitars, um, I think, and none of them are particularly expensive or fancy, but every guitar I've got has got a story. And that includes this one. It's a Gordon Smith uh, uh, 80s G60. So it's they still make them. You can get something like that. Let me get the angle right. There you go. It's probably the bill now. Mahogany body. A Gordon Smith humbucker in the bridge position. And um, single coil ahead of that. And yeah, mahogany slab body. Lovely thing. Piece of kit. But the story about it, why I've got this guitar, because this is a guitar I've been looking for. And I have found, which is a bit different to the story. We're going back to 1986. And uh, I'm just about to move from where I grew up, where I where I uh, live with my parents in a house there, and go to somewhere else in the Yorkshire Dales. Before I move, I want to buy a guitar. I want to buy a good guitar. So I went to the shop in Ellesmere Port, the only good music shop which had new stuff. And uh, back in those days, you could buy what was in the shop. You know, you saw what was in the window. That was about it, basically. And I knew there's a guy in there who could play really good electric guitar, and I wanted an electric guitar to take with me when I moved away to have something to learn on a bit more and playing electric. Um, so I wasn't a great electric player. I played more, a lot more acoustic, but I went in and asked the guy for some advice because I knew him a, a, quite a bit. I put a load of gear there in, in the days. Um, and I asked him what would be a good guitar for me, and he showed me, uh, to start off with, I was interested in a, a Stratocaster, a Fender Stratocaster, I think it was from Japan, and it looked very, very nice and fancy, and um, uh, back then they were hunting for the way to get tremolos to work and stay stable, and this one had by the, the nut end some kind of clamp system with a quick release thing so you could tune it, clamp the nut in place and it'd stay in tune with the tremolo. That was the idea. So he, let, he, he showed me this and let me play it and, I, and look at it. And he said to me, if you really want a good guitar but hasn't got the flashy looks of the Fender, have a look at this because this is really good. And he showed me something very, very similar to this guitar, a Gordon Smith uh, GS. Also, that model that I had then, back then, we had uh, two humbuckers instead of the humbucker single, single coil. And... Um, he showed it to me, played it himself, and he said, this is the best guitar that they had in the shop, to be honest. Didn't look that fancy, but it uh, it, it did the job, and it, it felt really good. So I tried it, I, uh, and it, it, it felt also really good. Something about it. it. Also, the simplicity of it, it's not it's not a fancy, flashy thing to have. Um, but I, I thought, this this is good. And I bought it like I did those days. I had a, I had a job, I had a bit of money, uh, and I spent it as soon as I got it on musical instruments, usually. Uh, so I bought this Gordon Smith guitar and took it with me to Yorkshire. Had it for quite a while there. Um, but when I left the place I was working, I had to sell all my gear because I was in debt. So, like you do. And so I sold all my guitars except one, which you'll see in a different video. Uh, so the Gordon Smith was sold. It was gone forever. Gone forever, I thought. And then uh, a few years ago, I was hunting around on the internet for second-hand musical instruments like, like I have a habit of doing. And I found... This, for sale, a Gordon Smith from the 80s. Very similar to the one I had, except slightly different pickup. So when I, I phoned up about it, say, have you still got that guitar? I said, and, uh, yes, So, uh, but I haven't got an amplifier, so I can't, you can't hear it if you just come and try it. So don't worry, I'll bring something. I brought it out with me. I tried it. There were some problems with the guitar. It it was kind of it had been taken apart and put back together wrong. Uh, so I uh, I couldn't really play it at the time, but I knew... This is going to be all right. Took it home with me, got it set up right, and it's a great guitar. What can I say? So that's the story. Now we're going to do a couple of close-up shots of what you get when you buy one of these things, if you find one anyway, um, and we'll have a look at it. Also, in the link uh, down below, in the link, I'm going to show you a uh, point you to another video, a documentary about Gordon Smith in the old factory with the three people who, who made the guitars and the dog who also works in the factory. Uh, it's really worth watching. If you're interested in a Gordon Smith guitar, they can be bought new. They're, they're be, they're being, uh, they've, they've passed on the, the trademark and all the construction technique and all of the models to a, a company that makes really good acoustic guitars. So I'm really impressed with that. I'd love to try one of the new ones sometime. They've got some temptingly good guitars. Anyway, that's enough of that. We'll stop now and we'll switch to the close-ups and then we'll go on to the sounds of this thing because it's special God. So, oh, and a little bit of history. Uh, that year when I bought it um, was the same year I went to see 
Billy Bragg play in Liverpool, and he played a Gordon Smith guitar. Didn't realise at the time, but he's played them as well. Um, there should be a poster somewhere coming up in the picture now of the actual uh, day in Liverpool when he was going to be playing there, together with the Hank Wangford Band, another one of my great heroes. Uh, but that's enough of my nonsense. Let's hear, some, see some close-up shots of it before we go on to the live sound example. So this is it. We're going to start at the headstock and make your way down. This is the headstock of the G60. Uh, just regular tuners. It stays in tune. The well-known brass nut of the, of the uh, Gordon Smith guitars. Uh, the fretboard could probably be a bit of a clean, as you can see. And then this end it gets rather dusty because it's a bit you never use. Um, nice, it's a typical, yeah, that, that Gordon Smith design scratch plate I think is really nice. In this case, a single coil pickup and the humbucker with the split option. I'll show you how to do the split in it and the wrap, really simple wraparound bridge, which just works. Intonation is great. It's slightly corroded and might clean it up sometime, who knows. Uh, switch to select the pickups, uh, volume and tone control, and this volume control here is the coil tap on the humbucker. Gordon's with own design and they work really good. This is really powerful and bright. So quite often, if I'm on the regular humbucker sound, I'll turn the tone there just a fraction, take the edge off that, because it's really quite bright. And for the rest, it's one big slab of wood. Well, there's two, two pieces, you can see the join there. It's a slab of wood, that's what it is, basically. Um, uh, the uh, adjustment on the neck is just uh, buried in here. You can turn a nut in there to tighten the truss rod. Um, and there's the jack plug cover thing. That's it. That's this guitar. Oh, I made a look at the back on it as well. Because when I bought this one, a little bit of uh, put that one uh, brass from the from the belt, you know, and the typical uh, you know, that's where you, uh, the controls are behind. And this one was a when I bought it, this this sticker was on it. I have no idea where it came from, but I left it that way. Natural a GS one and a half sixty something like that because it was. Um, with a serial number. Made in England. And as you'll know, I hope, Gordon with the guitars back then were manufactured just outside Manchester. But as I say, I'll send you the link as well down below in the video of the, um, the documentary about Gordon Smith. Really great to see. And now you can hear the sounds of it on its way. So this is the, the live sound stuff. It's the Gordon Smith. We're going to start off on the... Um, Neck pickup, single coil neck pickup, switch onto both pickups, so the neck and the humbucker in the back, uh, switch to the humbucker and then also uh, the coil tap on humbucker. And then I'm going to uh, put it back to the full humbucker but roll off the volume a bit because uh, I like it when it's just not quite full volume on the humbucker. It's playing through a uh, Marshall uh, valve state amp, a thing from the 90s, so not a valve amp, a uh, transistor thing, but I think they sound Still quite good. It's, it, everything's humming a bit around here, but it always hums a bit in this particular space with, uh, yeah, this kind of guitar and this kind of amp with power cables. See if you can recognize the song.
close up. And we'll go roll back a little bit, just fraction. And that's what I've noticed about this volume control. Uh, when you have it at full volume, everything's just a little bit bright. Both pickups, actually, I find that. So I typically just roll a fraction of the volume and take just the edge of it. But um, cool guitars, these Gordon Smith gadgets. And they're still being made now in the new factory. Um, and they look pretty nice uh, for the price, for a hand-built guitar. Okay, have a good day, everyone. Bye for now.